Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft have started rolling out their latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10 for the month of June, which is KB5014666, and that was made available on the 28th of June, which was yesterday in my region, and it's rolling out for Windows 10 versions 21H2, 21H1, and Windows Server 20H2. Now, the optional updates will appear under Windows Update through the Windows Update process, and um, they are optional, so you do not have to install the update. And as I say every month, um, they are bug fix updates, so only install the update if you are having issues or any problems with your system. Else, just leave the update alone and ignore it. And that's because um, if you don't install the update now, most of the improvements, changes, and fixes will be rolled out in next month's Patch Tuesday Cumulative Update, which is a compulsory automatic update, which will roll out on the second Tuesday of next month, July. Now, if you do decide to install the update, once you've restarted your device, if you head to View Update History, the update will be listed under Other Updates, and that will be Cumulative Update Preview for Windows 10 KB5014666. Now, um, Microsoft has highlighted three highlights for this update, um, uh, mainly bug fixes. And um, just to go through those, um, they've addressed an issue that prevents the Pash2 uh, language from appearing in the language list. There was an issue that was affecting the touchpad area that responds to a right click, the right click zone on touchpad and touchscreen devices. That's been fixed. And then I think this next bug fix is the main bug fix for this update. Um, uh, I did post on this a little while ago, um, a couple of days ago. Um, there was an issue that might prevent you from using the Wi-Fi hotspot feature. So KB5014666 um, addresses that issue where um, um, your device, for, for some users, their devices were not connecting to the internet when trying to use their Wi-Fi hotspot feature. So if you did experience that issue, that, that has now been addressed with this latest um, optional bug fix update. So do yourself a favor. If you did have that issue, just download the update as it will solve the problem, according to Microsoft. Now, um, this is a non-security update, as mentioned, and there are actually three new um, add-ons and little features that have um, rolled out with this latest update. And um, just to go through those quickly, if you are interested, um, the first new add-on is um, they've addressed an issue that failed to log the source IP address and machine name for a remote PowerShell connection. And then the next new add-on, they've added a server message block redirector specific public file system control. And then the third new add-on is actually regarding print and scan features. And there are four new add-ons for print and scan features and and they've added rpp over usb support which now expands rpp support to usb printers there's also now print support app apis and um, they've also included standard print dialogues now which include a user interface to enter a pin code and then there's e escl mopria scan protocol and it can be used with Mopria certified scanner devices. So quite a bit going on there with print and scan features. And then just to mention one or two other, um, actually just two other um, bug fixes which might be of interest. They've addressed an issue that affects the cloud clipboard service and prevents syncing between machines after a period of inactivity. And then the final one I'm just going to mention for this video is there was an issue that led to a false negative when some users ran scripts while Windows Defender application control was turned on. That has been addressed with this latest update. And um, if you have um, installed the update, once the update has been applied, if we just head to Winver, if you are running version 21H2, your OS build will now be bumped up to 19044.1806. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.